everybody. I've just made it to drill. Putting my boots on. I always drive with, um, sorry, you can't see me. <laughs> I always drive with, um, like just socks or with slippers because I hate driving with boots in the mornings. Um, so to do it in this car because I'm too lazy to push my chair back. It's not like my old car where I would just do it and then click a button and, and you know, my seat goes back to the exact spot. So I'm doing it the hard way. Bear took my rank off of my PC. Honestly, I'll probably just switch this out um, and wear his. I haven't even changed my last name yet, so I still have to switch out my. Thing I need to get on that. Only reason why I haven't changed my last name is because um, I haven't, because we're going on our trip and I don't want to have any problems or complications. So I just haven't changed it. You guys, <clears throat> ever since I got my hair permed, I am living my life like I wish I got my hair permed a long time ago and uh, it was so nice just like doing I washed my hair yesterday it didn't take all day to do and then this morning um, as you guys saw I don't know if, you, if I like it, it's you saw it in my face but like I did my hair with no problems like I slicked it back so quick and I'm like whoa it just took me no time to do it um, it did <laughs> I just I am elated I I'm elated. I know everybody's not like on the train of you know getting your hair relaxed or whatever which is fine but it has literally given me so much freedom and happiness <laughs> um and I just I literally I seriously wish I did it a long time ago I am officially a squad leader so I've got um to go take accountability but follow me around a day in my life Good morning, everybody. It's the next day. Um, drill weekend. Uh, today is... It is drill weekend, but... Um, today's family day. Um, so we get to dress in civilians. And... Uh, my family isn't here. It's kind of a long drive for just a couple hours. So just like, meh. It's all good. Just, just be prepared for me being excited about my hair okay guys i'm gonna be raving about it i'm gonna be talking about it because i'm just so happy with it it's just so much more manageable i can take care of it without pulling on it too much it's just nice anyway yeah i think i might put a little makeup on and i'll put this back the way i ever actually time for me to go but the pavilion that we're staying at or that we're doing our family day at is like literally around the corner so just like three minutes away should be okay I didn't have my typical brow pencil that I use so I'm going back to NYX and I hope they don't disappoint oh all my brushes are drying at home so I definitely can't wear makeup. Okay, that's fine. Alrighty then, that's my makeup for today. <laughs> I forgot to bring a brush. It's all good. Alright, let me just tighten this around. Okay, we're good to go. Let's go. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm packing. Kenny's laying down in the bed because I don't want him to mess up my stuff. I would 
and I'm that. drinking on a little something. Cheers for our weekend. Cheers for our weekend. Our weekend was fine. What's wrong? Oh, we had just a little altercation or something. Mm -hmm. A misunderstanding. Yep. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, this is back at drill. I think the last time I left off from this vlog was um, drill weekend. Um, my bad. It was my every intention to uh, finish that vlog, but I just feel like lately my military. Oh. Oops, I feel like lately like my military vlogs have just been um, since I've taken over like a leadership role and I'm not like lower enlisted anymore. Um, like I have more things to do and more things to uh, take charge of. Kenny literally took my rank off of my hat and didn't put it back. I just realized that. Or no, I switched out with him yesterday. Fantastic. I'll have to see if the supply sergeant has a, another rank. Anywho. Um, yeah, it was like my every intention, but it's just, it's it gets harder and harder to vlog military content. Um, so, but I get, I get a lot of training questions. <laughs> Which is so funny because I've been out of training for almost 10 years, which is freaking crazy to even say. Um, so I don't really know what training is like because it's been almost a decade since I went to basic training. So I really I really am not the right person to ask. <laughs> um, that's so far gone and so past my career. Like, it's not really something I think about anymore. Um unless it's like a reminiscing kind of thing. Um, I don't know what training's like. I don't know like any, like how they do the phases anymore. The military is a constantly changing, evolving thing. So I'm sure back in 2015 when I was private need, you know, in basic training, it's not the same as what it would be today. Oh, there's one thing I could actually talk about. So as you know, I re-enlisted for two more years, almost two years ago. So my contract is less than a year out and I made the crazy decision to re-enlist um, for six more years. Um, it was definitely not in the books. This was, I think this last two years, like I really, um, I was kind of done and I wanted to be done and I was kind of over the military and just ready to, I guess, feel free. Um, but... I, um, it's a lot, it's a lot, like, it really is, even if, even if you're just part-time, like, you're never really, like, you're always a soldier, especially when you're an NCO, um, you, you know, you can't really turn it off, <laughs> like, you get calls, you get text messages, there's group chats going on, there's always something going on, and you can never really just turn off and, and just be normal and it's hard like sometimes it can be really really hard sorry guys I'm like multitasking um to just like want to feel like a normal person um it's really hard to explain but you just sometimes you feel like you just want to be ever, like everybody else you know but with that like comes you know repercussions like um I won't have you know, insurance, I mean, granted, Kenny and I are married now and I could get on his insurance uh, for like military insurance, but we would only have one insurance and not have two insurances, you know, from from our regular jobs. And it's nice to have two insurances because military insurance is not expensive. I pay for myself forty six dollars a month for insurance like and I so far I have not had one issue out of TRICARE um, so far um, since I've had it. Um, so. Yeah, and then like my retirement, I, I get to have two retirements now, you know? So I, I, as I've grown and evolved and matured, even in just this last year, I realized the benefits, the, the positive outweighs um, the negatives. 
Um, so at this point, it was either get out. There was no more little two-year enlistments at this point because, like I said, I've almost been in for 10 years. Um, if I re-enlisted for two more years, I wouldn't be able to get a bonus if I decided to re-enlist again. So uh, this would be my last bonus this year. This, this bonus. So um, it was either go big or go home. So it was either get out or stay in for the long haul, pretty much. So I decided to re-enlist for six more years. I never in a million years thought I would do that. Um, I thought I was crazy the first time for doing it. And here I am doing it for a second time. This is this will be my second re-enlistment. Um, but that's not till next year. But I, needless to say, I wanted to say to you guys, like, active duty. Um, I know it can be tough. Why does this look so funny? I know it can be tough um, and, like, really discouraging. You miss home. Um... I know a lot of the time, um, a lot of active duty personnel like surround themselves with negative people. Um, and like, it's just saying like, oh, I'm ready to get out the army. Man, I can't wait to get out the army. I freaking hate this shit, you know? And Kenny was one of them, you know? He did the same thing. And to this, to this day, he regrets leaving active duty. Um, think about it before you do. Make sure you have like a backup plan. Make sure you have a job lined up. Don't just like leave the army and not have a job um, and not have anything going for yourself. Like, come on now. You want to go back home to your mama's house or wherever you came from? No, like, don't just get out with no plan. Or if you have a plan, make sure it's a real legit plan, not no stupid ass plan like a lot of these soldiers be doing. Um, and yeah, make something of yourself. If you're, if you don't have anything, stay in, stay in. Um, I'm not saying you have to retire by any means, but um, don't don't just get out without a plan and just make sure you're weighing your pros and cons because the military is annoying as hell but use it to your benefit you know i and i i realized that um so i will deal with it it's really not that bad um it could be a lot worse uh, I've, so anyway don't let the little things sweat you but like i said it comes with maturity and growth um, where is my PC? I literally just freaking had a thing. All right. Oh, let's do one. All right. We're at home, or I'm back at home, obviously. Drill weekend. Sorry. Drill weekend was drill weekend. Nothing special. Um, at this point in my career, I, I like, I've moved up in the ranks, obviously. I'm not. I'm a NCO now, so things just go by really fast. Like, <laughs> I don't have time to sit down and like film. If you guys really, really want me to do something in depth, more in depth, like I definitely will. But at this point, it's just not that feasible. So that, guys, is gonna be the end of this drill weekend video, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.